Hey there, this is a short video um, for Apex Sniper for all of y'all who have multiple accounts, like maybe you have two Lilu accounts or you have a live account and a Lilu account. And some of y'all have asked me, how do you trade multiple accounts simultaneously? Is there a way to do that where you can hit one button and get an execution in more than one account? The answer is yes. There's a few things to go through with that, but let me first, of course, throw up the Rift disclosures. There they are. All that okay so not responsible for you using this feature just teaching you how to use it all right one it only works for entries okay so if you change your exits it will only change on the account you change it on so if I have one of them up and I let's say I have account a and account B it'll fire off the entry on both account a and B but if I go and tighten my stop on account a it won't move my stop on account B I got to move my stop on account B okay so it only automates your entries. It only mirrors your entries. It can only be for the same size trade on both accounts. So you can't have like one contract on one and five contracts on the other. A and B are have to be a trade the same contract size for it to mirror. It's only gonna mirror the same contract size. Now, you can use different ATMs, okay, for your exits if you want to, if you had some reason for that. But it's gonna use the ATM you select for each account. So you're gonna to wanna to have up like another chart or what I suggest is another DOM and have a DOM up for every account that you're doing this on that has its own ATM selected, okay? Um, if you adjust your exits, you must adjust on both of them as it won't adjust the exits on that group. So again, like I was saying, it, it won't. if I adjust my exit on A, if I hit close on A, it won't close B. I have to go over and close B or I have to move my stop or take profit on B. While having a group set up, you can't do market replay. So now you can go in and delete the group and then go back and do market replay. But if you leave the group in there, it messes up market replay. I have no idea why. It really frustrated me one day. I was trying to figure out what meant market replay wouldn't work. And I found out it was because of the group, okay? So you have to delete your group and then add it back if you wanna do market replay. Um, you have to have a multi-broker license if you wanna trade, say, like Ninja Trader Brokerage and Lilu at the same time, okay? So you cannot trade them at the same time unless you have a multi-broker license. So if you want one of those, email platformcells at ninjatrader.com and let them know you're with Apex and Lilu and they will probably give you a discount code. Not guaranteed, but they will probably give you a discount code. Again, platform sells at, or platform support. One of those at ninjatrader.com. Um, if you have, there is an exception. It, let's say you had two Lilu accounts. Now remember, you gotta be trading the same size. So this isn't gonna work if you got like a 50K and a 300K, okay? But if you have, let's say two Lilu accounts that are the same size, you wanna trade both of them under the same username, you could do that, okay? Without using a multi-broker license. So now let's look at how do you actually set this up. So you're gonna have your account let me turn off my auto trader. And then we're gonna go to tools, options. And we're gonna go to data. And we're gonna go to account groups. Okay. So you go in here and type in you know my duplicate accounts all right and then you're going to select the account you want and hit the left arrow so let's say i choose back test as one account let's see if the sim 101 is in here sim 101 is the other account okay all right, so we got backtest and SIM 101. It could be, you know, funded account one and funded account two or, you know, whatever, okay? And then let's click save. All right, it's pretty simple. And then we'll hit close. And we'll hit okay. So now I could go over here Let's say I'm looking at, you know, my duplicate accounts. Well, 
it's not going to let me do it because the sim one is not there. Let's see here. All right, I'll just do like a live micro trade. Okay, so like tools. Go back to options. And by the way, you can change it around. Data, account groups. I'm going to drop the back test one because apparently that's a dead account. And let me add in my live account. And I'm going to hit save. Hit close. Hit OK. Now, now it lets me choose it. Okay. So, all right. So I got up, but I just threw a micro trade on. And then let's go in and to make it easier to see both accounts. Okay. Let's go up here to Control Center. Let's open a. Dom. Okay, we'll bring that on over here. And we're going to choose my duplicate account. And we'll leave this one on Sim 101, but we'll update it to the same instrument and then Q. Alright, and so let's just say I put a buy on. Notice it just put a buy on for both of them for me. Okay, if I go over and switch over to this account, so you notice my AMP account and my SIM account both have the same trade going on. Okay. Now if I hit close, it's only going to close that one. It doesn't close this one for me. So i got to close that one myself manually. Now let's say I go on here and I choose just a basic little ATM. Okay. And we got, by the way, I gotta have that account group selected for both of them to go. Let's say I go in, let's say I do a sell this time. Okay. If I move my sell over here, whoops, I really moved it. Yeah, they knocked me out on that one. Um, hit take profit anyway. So, okay, let's do another one. Do a sell. If I move it down, I rejected it now because it was bouncing. <laughs> okay, so it knocked me out on that one because I did move it down. This one hasn't knocked me out on yet. And notice I'm still in. So to close it, you know, I could even adjust this one either way. I'm out. Okay? So, again, do a buy. And I move my take profit up. On this one, it stays the same over here. Okay? I move my stop loss up. It stays the same over here. I'd have to manually move both. Okay? And if I ever want to check to make sure it's working correctly, I can go over here and look at Ant-Man. You'll see right there. Flatten on that one too, okay? All right, so that is how to do it. Practice it. You can make a, an extra SIM account if you want to practice this. Um, if you have a live key, I, I think you should be able to. Um, I know I can because I have a full multi-broker do everything license. But you can make up a simulator account called like Sim102. You have to restart Ninja after you do it, but you just hit accounts. And you can call one like Sim102. You get save. And then once you, it says retire, when you restart Ninja, then you'll have Sim102. And so you can make a Sim101 and a Sim102. Then you can go make a group, again, under the data section that I taught you, and test it. And then once you are comfortable with it, if you want to move it to other accounts that you have, you can do that. So I hope that makes sense because that's all there is to it. All right, y'all have a great day. I had a lot of demand for this and I'll throw this video on up. It'll be also be stuck on the trading assistant page. Thank you.